Hi darlings, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Sia, we love her in Dubai. So today, I am going to be doing a style guide on how to style or how to rock rather the maxi skirt, a pleated maxi skirt. Now as a short girl myself, I know this can be a very, very tricky um, style to rock. So, which is why today I feel I would like to bring in a model to also illustrate how to do this. And I say model as in like, she's my extra, she's my mannequin for today. But yes, model is what we're going to call her for today, for the purpose of this vlog. So today's pleated skirt um, is not only just any, any random like pleated skirt. This is a collaboration, it's a range from H&M, coming soon. Uh, it's called Richard Allen, collaboration in collaboration with H&M. I'm wearing one of their tops. Richard Allen is one of the designers that is well known for his prints. His, um, he's basically graphic prints. He's very like printy, but not a lot of colors. He does a lot of like the neutral tones. You've got your blacks, your whites, your ivory white, your beige, your cream, your fawn, your tan, your taupe, very neutral colors. And of course then he goes really like buck crazy with the print. So not only is it a pleated skirt, but it is a maxi pleated skirt with print on it, which can be very tricky for a lot of people that I know for sure. So we're going to put on our first look and I'll talk you through it. So this is the pleated skirt that I talked about in the beginning of my video. It is quite long. It's the Richard Allen, woo -hoo, Richard Allen in collaboration with H&M uh, collection. Very, very busy as you can see. It's the prints plus the pleat that can scare a lot of people away. But what I want to do with the style guide is to let people know that it is possible you can do it. Don't worry. Anybody can pull it off. You don't have to be 1.7 or 1.8 long to do it. But you can pull it off with the right colors, the right silhouettes, the right finish off, the whole thing. You can pull it off. Um, it is quite long, as you can see. It's a maxi. So for the first look... Decided to pair it. Mon is very much a bodysuit kind of lady. So we decided to pair it with a one shoulder ruffle bodysuit. Ruffles are very much on trend right now. And I think it ties it in nicely. Um, then after that, uh, paired it with a really cool tote or shopper bag. Whichever way you want to refer to it. Also black. And the reason why I started out with the black with also the black bag. And like very tan shoes. Tan, black, all these colors, very neutral. They're all like one family of like neutral colors. So you can do like tan shoes or black shoes or white. No, I wouldn't go white. It could look really weird and tacky. But yeah. And yeah, pair this with the bodysuit. If you're not a bodysuit girl and you feel like the one shoulder is a bit too much or maybe not really your style, then I would suggest that you start with a black tank top and maybe, um, or a black t-shirt and see how you, the vibe for you goes. And if you're short, definitely must wear the skirt with heels. Uh, if not, and you're tall or average, well, happy for you. Yay! So, for the second look, as I mentioned with the first look, always pick colors from what you see here. And I always feel you can never go wrong with that. So, this time around, decided to pair her with a nude bodysuit, picking up from one of the nudes here. Add in a denim jacket for that super cash look. And you top it off with white A4 sneakers or any white sneaker for that matter. I think that would be really cool. Especially if you're really not a heels or pumps kind of girl. Then the sneakers really do top it off and finish it off nicely. Um, I like the fact that also what I wanted to do with it is put a nice, cool, quirky sling bag. And um, some really nice earrings. And yeah. I mean, it's all about how you do it. This time around, we decided to belt it. She is a belt kind of girl. 
this time around we decided to belt it to bring in to cinch it in a bit more because I know sometimes people feel that the denim jacket plus the skirt with nothing to hold it in can look a bit bulky whereas in the first look it's just the bodysuit so fashion is all about proportions and in this instance we belt it to bring in the waist and then you put on the denim jacket but you don't have to but I think it's a really nice way of doing it casual sports luxish athleisure type of look and for the third look, if you're not really a bodysuit or t-shirt kind of girl, then I would strongly suggest maybe you try a pair this pleated skirt with a denim shirt or a white shirt if you're that type of girl. Some slides. This is, a per this is like the perfect weekend kind of look. You know, when you're going out for lunch with your girls, you're going shopping or whatever the case is i think it's the perfect weekend look or maybe friday at work you know because friday casual days mm, you never know um with some slides or with pumps or mules i think mules and slides are very very on trend and you can look this is the type of look you can wear at the you can go from a desk to a lunch or i wouldn't say a dinner but a desk to a lunch type of look especially now in january it's a lot of People are getting back to work, but there's still a bit of festivity from the December happening. So, denim shirt or a white shirt, uh, the pleated skirt, some slides or mules. Really cool, dope, minimalistic accessories. Now, Mon is very much a turbans kind of girl, so this time around we paired it with the turban. But a turban that doesn't isn't too far off the colors from the skirt, which is a bit of like the family of yellows will work. And lastly, a really cute bag, like a nice little dainty bag. And yeah, you're good to go. Now for the fourth look, this is like the perfect transitional outfit. It's the the type of outfit you would wear sometime, especially if you're in, in SA, South Africa, uh, between April and May, where the days are not so cold, but they're not so hot either. I call it transitional uh, fashion. You wear the pleated skirt, with again a sweater that picks up colors from here now i personally would tuck the sweater in because obviously of my proportions but i loved it on mon and how we put it over the pleated skirt and i've seen quite a lot of people do that also it's become a very prominent trend where the sweater goes over the maxi pleated skirt um for a bit of shape add in a belt nice dainty belt don't you can do the thick belt depending on the type of figure you have but because mon has got an athletic body we did a thin belt but if you've got a pear-shaped body i would suggest that you do a bit of a thick belt like well i don't have an example now but yes for this one only because the sweater can be quite chunky and if you are bottom heavy then the thick belt cuts you off nicely but if your athletic body like mon is then the thin belt creates some shape so it's all about illusion it's all about playing around with it and uh, black boots picking up from the skirt again and a uh, really nice cute nude slim bag as you can see most of the looks have got really like minimalistic bags not too big the one look had a big shopper bag only because of how plain it was on top so you always have to bring in an element of a statement but yeah perfect transitional fashion of it so for the fifth look we decided to pair the pleated skirt picking up again colors from the skirt a black blazer but if you want you could always do it with i think pink would go very nicely with it like a faded blush pink or if you're safe you could go with a white or black and it has to be the boyfriend or masculine oversized blazer because again we needed to go over the skirt we needed to go over the skirt not too long but also not too short either i think it looks super sexy if you do it with absolutely nothing underneath if you've got boobs that are still nice and perky then absolutely nothing but if you are a little bit on the conservative and safe side i would suggest either a bralette or um like a really low cut neckline type of um t-shirt yeah not a shirt a blouse maybe if you can find a blouse like that it will be perfect it'll look great but either bralette or a low cut v uh t-shirt 
and you put the blazer over it and you belt it. Now this time around you have to use a thick belt to put over the blazer only because then it cinches the entire thing properly. It, it, it just finishes off. Yeah, it ties it up nicely. Have to pair them with a pair of heels. Now, pair of heels for this one, If depending on the kind of person that you are, the kind of lady that you are, I would suggest a court shoe, a court heel. This is the look you can literally grow from your desk to your dinner date. It, it, if you're wearing it to the office, you can have a top or shirt underneath. And then if you're not, and if you're done, you literally just take off what's underneath put on the blazer, you put on the belt, and you're gone to dinner, and you're going to slay. Nobody can tell that you're just from the office. I would suggest, though, if you are going from the office to a dinner, you do the big earrings, which is what we did with Mon for this look. We paired it with really cool, big statement earrings. And if maybe from the office, you do small studs, and then you just change. Very, it, It's the kind of look, again, you can go from one place to another, from desk to dinner and you're just adding a bit of elements here and there that won't take too much of your time and that is our look vibe and this is our bonus look i had to throw it in there only because i know there are some ladies out there who love this look and mon is one of those ladies i personally wouldn't do it because i'm a skitty pants but, although, although, H&M has got these really beautiful boot tube, um, kind of crop tops, if I can call it that. They're literally about this size. And it's like the perfect alternative to this look. We paired the pleated skirt this time around, took a head scarf, and we wrapped it around. You tied a knot in front, and you wrap it around the boobs. This is for, like, those extremely hot days, but you really also want to be really cute. And I think there's this trend now, this really cool trend. I'm not so sure about it yet, but I've seen a lot of people do it. It's like very 50s pin up where you put the head scarf on with some sunglasses and you're looking really cute. I'm not sure about it yet for me because I don't know. But I've seen some women that do it and it looks so cool on them. I wish I was one of those women who could pull it off, but... No, no, not yet. It's too dumb, Omar, for me. But um, the alternative with this look is you take that very same headscarf and you put it on your neck and you make it into a bit of a choker. And that is pretty much it on the pleated maxi skirt. I really do hope that you have enjoyed the style guide. Please do leave me your comments Press that like button, press the subscribe button, uh, and more importantly, that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the videos, especially these style guides. I will be bringing you more of these this year, and I look forward to doing more. Bye, darlings.